Well, later this month, the California Republican Party will hold its annual fall convention in Anaheim. And a vote is expected on whether to amend the California GOP official platform ahead of the 2024 cycle. Among the changes that are being considered, stripping language that stood against same-sex marriage and abortion. Is this really a direction that the California GOP wants to head in, even in a state like theirs? I mean, the Democrats are on the, on the run on the life issue, but here, once again, Republicans snatching victory from uh, uh, j j taking it away, losing it. Well, joining me now to, uh, to discuss this is Josiah O'Neill, member, uh, a member of the California Republican Party platform committee. Josiah, welcome back to Washington Watch. Great to see you. Hi, Tony. Thanks for having me on. All right. So can you uh, tell us what uh, is known so far about what's being proposed in terms of changes to the platform? Absolutely. So, well, first of all, let me just give you the opposition's perspective. After a lot of digging, this is what I came up with. In a recent email that went out to all the delegates, a collection of three former assembly candidates put this statement out. They believed that the traditional perspective, essentially, on marriage and pro-life issues were, quote, shackling them to a lengthy, error-ridden word salad that the old platform has become. And another line, they said that, the platform, as proposed to be amended, strips away, quote, outdated and illegal concepts, I'm assuming referring to marriage between a man and a woman, and poses a positive vision for a brighter and better California. So if you're wondering, that's what we're up against here as conservatives in the state. That is not from some far left uh, organization, but from our own Republican Party. And that's where we stand as of now. I mean, let, let's just take the life issue for a moment, because I mean, in the, the language in the platform on life, it was fairly extensive. Uh, you know, we support a comprehensive ban on all human cloning. Uh, we support adoption as an alternative to abortion. Um, we believe that the question of abortion is a matter that should be left to the people through their elected representatives, not usurped by the United States Supreme Court, and, and on and on. I mean, this is language very similar to what we see at the national level. The, the point is these, these uh, platforms actually matter. About 80 percent of the time, the elected officials actually abide by those. Um, how intense of a fight is this going to be there in California over this platform? Well, Tony, I got to tell you, it's already escalated to the point of conflict. At the drafting uh, committee, their uh, physical tension broke out. The police had to be called uh, over protesters who became unruly over this very issue. I mean, the truth is that the party has continually shown a disdain for the average voter. They're very distant from the political climate. They're not in touch with what conservatives want in California. What they're really doing is acquiescing the left's progressive agenda. And there's no further proof or greater proof than this recommended change. I mean, essentially what they've tried to smooth over as not a big deal is their explicit okay, we could say, to both uh, redefining what marriage is uh, from a Christian Judaic value, as well as easing up on our perspective on abortion. And if you look at the proposed, uh, and of course, this is subject to change as the language has changed several times. But as of today, this is the latest proposal on right to life, that they want to see the numbers of abortions reduced. That's what the platform now right. says. I mean, this, of course, it, a drastic change. It, it sounds like, uh, I mean, what, what Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton used to say. I mean, what I see in this proposed language is, I mean, this is Biden and Kamala Light. I mean, this is what the Democratic Party stands Absolutely. for, just a little bit less. So what can people do to weigh in? Well, how, how can they help you? You're on the platform committee. What can people do that are in the Republican Party that want to see the party stay true to those core values? Honestly, it's a hard uh, it's a hard subject to tackle. A lot of us right now here in the state are trying to figure out how to deal with this. We're already at war with progressive Marxists here over our children and parental rights in schools. As you may have noticed today, California actually passed the gender affirming requirement in custody here, which means yeah. if you're a parent and you don't support transgendering your child, the judge has to lean on giving it to the parent that does. So amidst all of this, now we have to fight our own people. 
I, I would just say that this, obviously the convention is a time for delegates to speak up. I will be there as a member of the platform committee, but also just as a concerned delegate. Uh, let me share our fear, is that a great majority of Republicans view this as a final straw that breaks the camel's back. If the party goes through with this egregious insult to both our values and our conservative way of life, I fear that they will lose the only 25% of Californians that are even registered to yeah. vote as Republicans in this state. I agree. And then where do they stand? Uh, Josiah, we're going to we're gonna have to, like, Josiah, yes, we're gonna have to leave it there, but we're going to follow up with you as this uh, continues to unfold. Uh, thanks so much Absolutely. for being in the fight.